All right, now that you deployed your protocol on the blockchain, you want to set up some monitoring rules that will detect suspicious transaction and suspicious activity in your protocol and will trigger some alerts. This is the monitor module inside Defender. As you can see, you can define different type of monitoring. You can monitor your governance, your access control, suspicious activity, financial stuff, technical stuff. Everything that happens, happens in your protocol can be monitored. You can create here a new monitor and as you can see, Open Zeppelin already created for you some templates for monitoring. For instance, when your smart contracts are being upgraded, you want to make sure that you know about it. So you can use the upgrade monitor. When we have ERC721 NFTs token transfer, when there is some kind of governance chat, uh, alert or multi-sig monitor. So they created for you already boilerplate templates so you can right away use. Right now, I'm not going to use any of those templates. I'm just going to create from scratch a new monitor here using the create monitor button. And the first basic thing that we want to monitor is that anytime someone creates a new pair using our Uniswap factory. So as you know, Uniswap AMM works by pairs. You have a pair of two tokens and this pair holds liquidity and people can swap from one token to another. So we want to know every once someone creates a new pair in the protocol. So I'm going to create a new monitor. I'll call it new pair alert or new pair created, just some kind of monitoring. The risk, there is actually no risk here. I'm just going to mark it as financial because someone created a new pair. And now the cool thing is because everything goes through Defender, you don't need to import your smart contracts manually because it, they are going to be saved automatically in the address book because Defender is already aware of your Johnny Time token contract and the Uniswap V2 factory contract. So they're going to be fetched automatically in the monitor module. So if I go to the monitor module again, once the contracts are verified and the name was fetched and I create here, create monitor in here in the select box in the contracts, I can already find my two newly deployed contracts. I don't need to manually add them. I have them marked by names. You can see here, Johnny Time token on Sepolia. So I'm going to mark actually the Uniswap V2 factory contract because this is the one that we want to monitor when a new pair is being created. I'm going to change it again to financial and I'm going to here change it to new pair created. Here you can basically select how many blocks you want this monitor to trigger. So if it's after one block, uh, if you want it after a few blocks, uh, when do you want the monitor actually to be triggered? So I'm going to just use here confirmation one block. And here you can see all the criteria that you can define in order to trigger this monitor alert. So you can do transaction filters. You can filter based on values in particular transactions that are being sent to this Uniswap V2 smart contracts. It could be the value, the gas price, the status, the nonce, the sender, etc. Here we can filter based on events. So in case an event was emitted, we can actually uh, trigger this monitoring alert. And this is perfect for us because anytime someone creates a new pair in Uniswap V2 factory, the contract is going to emit the pair created event. And you can see it emits this event with the addresses of the tokens and the new pair. So I'm going to mark this and use this uh, event. And I don't need to drill down to exact pair because I don't care what are the tokens of this pair. Anytime a new pair is created, I want to trigger this alert and this monitor. So that's all we have to do just to mark this event as pair created. By the way, you can also use a monitor based on function trigger. So every time someone triggers a particular function like create pair or set v2 or set v2 setter. You can also filter this exact address. So when someone is sending the v2 to an address that is unknown, you can trigger an alert and trigger monitoring. Now I'm not going to use this based on function trigger monitoring because this is enough for us, the event trigger. But just so you know that you have different ways how you can basically trigger those alerts. Now, this is what you want to do based on this notification being triggered. So you can basically associate it with a category. It can either be low, medium or high risk severity. In our case, it's going to be low severity because it's only a new pair is being created. And then you can basically tie those severities to some kind of actions or to some kind of notifications. As you can see, I basically connected all the low severity triggers 
to the notifications that I uh, created here, Defender, Johnny Time. You can change it over here in settings. And here in the settings, you can define what happens anytime there is a high severity notification, medium or low severity. As you can see, I define it here, Defender, uh, Johnny Time. And this is the notification channel that I configured, Defender Johnny Time. You can also configure it here in the settings. And in Johnny Time Defender notification channel, you can see that I defined only an email. So every time this alert is triggered, I'm going to receive an email to my inbox. But you can also uh, configure Slack, Discord, Telegram, webhooks, whatever monitoring, whatever tracking system you use. If it's a startup, you probably use Stack, so you can have Slack alerts or Telegram or Discord, whatever you prefer. We can also execute actions, but this is something that we'll see in a second. So based on this monitor event, we want to do something or we want to trigger also an incident response scenario. For now, I don't want to trigger any of those. I just want to see that it works. And when we create a new pair, we get a notification. So I'm going to click here and do save monitor and our monitor configuration is being saved in the background. Beautiful. Now we can see that we have a new monitoring set up for us. And if we go here to the Uniswap factory and we create a new pair, we're supposed to get a notification. Go here to write contract. I'm going to connect my wallet to Etherscan here. And we want to create a new pair using this function, create pair. So I'm going to create a pair of wrapped ETH together with my new deployed Johnny Time token. So I'm going to search here, wrapped ETH. So I'm just going to here copy the contract token address and add here as token A. This is going to be wrapped ETH. And now we need our token smart contract address. And this is the second token. This is the Johnny Time token. So I'm going to copy the address and paste it over here. Where was it? Here. And now that we have both token A wrapped ETH and Johnny Time as token B, we can here create a new pair, send a transaction through our MetaMask wallet. It will create a new pair smart contract with both token wrapped ETH and Johnny Time. And if everything works as expect expected, we're supposed to receive an email that a new pair was created in our Uniswap V2 fork protocol. And as you can see over here, we received a new notification and a new email, Defender Monitor, new pair created, triggered. So we an, an event was emitted and Defender saw it as an alert and sent it to us. We can see whole, also here the transaction. Perfect. We see how the monitoring feature is working based on the blockchain when the contracts are being changed, functions are being called, or events are being emitted. Beautiful. Now we want to take it to the next level. We want to connect the monitor with the action. So in case there is an incident, something happened with our protocol, we want to run automatically an action. This is where the actions comes into place. As you can see over here, we can create a new action and we can basically make this action based on monitor. So if we trigger something, if something happened in our protocol, or we can do it based on schedule or webhook. So we can also create actions that will be ran automatically in the background as a cron job. Let's say we want to add liquidity to our protocol every 24 hours. We can do it through the 